Now let's work on simplifying radical expressions. The steps for doing this will be to convert radical expressions to exponential expressions. Use arithmetic and the laws of exponents to simplify, and then convert them back to radical notation as needed. This might seem like extra work, but it actually makes the process of simplifying so much easier. I'm going to rewrite the sixth root of x to the fourth as x raised to the four sixths. Notice that I can reduce the four sixths to two thirds. This is equivalent to the cube root of x to the second. Now let's look at b. This is the sixth root of x to the 18th. We can rewrite this as x to the 18 over six. This reduces to x to the third. Notice that I don't have to rewrite this as a radical because our radical reduced out. In part c, we have the eighth root of three x all raised to the second. We can rewrite this as three x raised to the second all over eight. I kept the grouping symbols on purpose because while three and x are still in the grouping symbols, this implies that both of them apply to this two eighths. Let's reduce it. Three x raised to the one fourth. Now, since the numerator is just a one, we can rewrite this as the fourth root of three x. We don't need the parentheses anymore because anything raised to the fir first power is just itself. Now let's look at part D. We have the fifth root of a squared, b to the fourth, all raised to the 15. I'll rewrite this as a to the second, b to the fourth, in parentheses, and then on the outside, the numerator will be 15, and the denominator of the exponent will be five. I can reduce this to a to the second, b to the fourth, all raised to the third power. Anything raised to a power when the inside is a product expression, then I can rewrite this as a to the two times three times b to the four times three, because I can distribute that three to both exponents inside. This gives me a to the sixth, b to the twelfth. Since my denominator has divided out, once again, I don't have to rewrite it as a radical. Now this last one is kind of strange. We have a radical inside a radical. So I'm going to rewrite the innermost radical as xy raised to the one fourth. That's the innermost radical. Now on the outside, I have the cube root. So this one I'm going to rewrite in blue raised to the one third. Now this is a power raised to a power. It just wasn't as obvious when it was a compound radical. <laughs> so now I can multiply these two exponents together. This will give me xy raised to the one twelfth. Since the numerator is the exponent, the denominator is the index, I rewrite the whole thing as xy under a twelfth root. <laughs> so it'll be the twelfth root of xy. 